You ever sell cocaine? Yeah, I sold cocaine. I done sold heroin. I done sold pills. I done sold every drug you damn near can sell. I done, I've been a hustler. Just being popular, they came to the town. We did did a record with them. So I did a record with Benny Siegel. We did records with uh, Baby, Juvenile, BG, Capone and Nori, E-40, Be Legit, uh, Shine. Pretty much whoever was popping at that time frame, we did some records with them. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. A little inspiration on the early, the early stage, Rook, you know. Uh, I'm talking about uh, grade school coming up, what neighborhood, all that good stuff. <clears throat> I grew up on the west side. West. Friend. I grew up on the west side, west side of Detroit. Um, you know, I grew up in the hood. You know, my, my parents was drug dealers. You know, my mom was in and out of jail. Dad was in and out of jail. So I was raised by my grandmother, you know. It was, me and my little cousin, so we grew up a little less fortunate, kind of Section Eight. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Section <laughs> Government Eight. Government subsidized housing, yeah. just trying to figure it out. And yeah, make a better way. You know? So I had good times and bad times. When my mama was home, you know, she made it happen, made it all right. And when she was gone, me and grandma was trying to figure it out. She did the best she had, the best she could with what she had. She made it work. You know? So yeah, it was all good. You know, I was a athlete, played football and basketball and stuff like How that. How old was you when you started playing football? Eight. <laughs> oh yeah, eight, eight. eight. You yeah. played all the way up to high school. All the way up to high school. Wow, that's yeah. that's, that's good. So, yeah. your mom and dad, what what was the uh, choice of drugs that they sold? Cocaine, heroin. Cocaine <laughs> in the back of the ride. Yeah, yeah. That's what. Yeah, heroin too, right? Because that yeah. was what. What was that, boo? That was in the seventies. 70s, 80s. I was born in the late 70s. So. Well, okay. So, so 70s and 80s. Mama and daddy was hustling? Yeah. Uh, daddy went to the feds twice. Mama went to the trial with the feds. She won. and uh, But she went to state joint a couple times. Wow. So, growing up like that, uh, we just, I know we had uh, Charlotte Lowe Jr. on here. He grew up like that in Bowen Homes. He was just down. And, uh, uh, shout out Charlotte Lowe Jr., man. But the, um uh, he gave the same type of spiel, man. Growing up like that, what kind of things did you see as far as transpiring between, you know, did you ever see the cops interacting with your mom, Neil, or did they ever, when was the first time you seen and knew that, hey, man, uh, we, 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 we hustling over here? Shit, you seen that day one. Like, I mean, my mama, she was selling drugs. Like, I didn't sell drugs with my mom. She was boosting. I done went boosting with my mom. Yeah. I done went to see my dad at the feds. I done went to see my mom at state prison. So Wow. And my family is then like you get a certain age, you you got a sack. Like it was damn near like no, like it's how, okay. <laughs> well how old was you when you got your first sack? Let's talk about it. Man, I was hustling price in about eleven. Eleven? What you were selling a what? Weed. Weed. Yeah, I, that was you, the first drug I started selling weed. Weed, yeah, yeah, and and so, did you did you ever sell cocaine? Yeah, I sold cocaine. I done sold heroin. I done sold pills. I done sold every drug you damn near could sell. I done, I've been a hustler. Like I was selling candy out my grandma's living room. Yeah, back when penny candy was going on. So yeah, so um, I I, I was listening in. You know, I, I looked back at. Uh, I seen you on a Big D Mogul's uh, uh, interview, and you were saying that uh, Street Lord uh, was uh, uh, around before BMF. Is that true, or you just? I mean, is no, that cap? it's like no, ain't no cap. Like what I'm saying is, like BMF was around. Like, I ain't, ain't no knock on them guys. They to say they wasn't hustling, they wasn't getting money. But I'm saying in Detroit, BMF wasn't the shit that was popping. Street Lords was the shit that was popping. Like it's no knock to say. They wasn't getting money or they wasn't doing their thing because I'm sure they was, you know. But the guys who was talked about at that time frame was not BMF. It was the Street Lords. So. Okay, so when did the, when did the Street they Lords... They came a little later then, right? Yeah, yeah. When yeah. did the Street Lords get bumped out the way? We got indicted in 2002. Some of us got indicted in 2002. Okay, okay. So. Yeah, so that basically ended uh, the, the, the whole... How many people did, was it in the Street Lords? Out of the rap group, it was probably like five of us that literally rap, but around that was involved, it might have been 10, 15. When I got indicted, it was like 23 people in the case, but all of us didn't get indicted on that case. Like um, Street Lord Wine, he wound up catching a later case. He caught a case when I came home. And um, 
he just came home. Like he been home a little over a year now. Yeah. And um, some of them got killed. You know, so it's been a big mess going on. Yeah. Throughout that process, but you know, we I- definitely. Where you hear that Detroit sound on music from T Grizzly and Sada and Babyface Ray, a lot of that stuff come from the street lords, Big Shine. You see them give it up and show us love and mad respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, you know, I know you guys when you were doing the music during that time. I seen I, I seen you on a, 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 a photo with uh, Benny Siegel. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys link up? Um. Just being popular, they came to the town. We did did a record with them, so I did a record with Benny Siegel. We did records with uh, Baby, Juvenile, BG, Capone and Nori, E Forty, Be Legit, uh, Shine. Pretty much whoever was popping at that time frame, we did some records with them. Who was the, who was the, who was the realest out of all those guys you just named? What? So yeah, yeah, I guess all the way. <laughs> Which who, one of them niggas was real? See, because we talk about real on here, and I see them niggas. I ain't tripping. Man. I'm a street nigga for real. Like I, I get it. I'm I'm like you, really. And yeah. I'm just on this side, and I'm in Texas, <laughs> but I'm I'm from the nothing, from the trenches, bro. And my people hustle too, so yeah. I get it. That's why I sit behind the seat because I know when it, it's real. You know what I'm saying? So which one of them dudes was in the room that you you could feel the energy that they they really about what they say. I, I fuck with Bill Legit, hella tough. Like, Bill Legit was my guy. You know okay. I fuck with Bill Legit. Daz was cool. Every Too Short was cool. They were all cool no, I'm guys. Talking, I'm not talking about cool. I'm talking about but really, really, you know, when they come to the hood, they going to pull up. Bill Legit. You see what I'm saying? Bill Legit in the hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Them niggas wasn't that. all in the hood. Them <laughs> niggas quiet. A hey, lot B- of times, them niggas quiet. I done been around them niggas, man. Hey, Bill Legit on the block <laughs> with us, man. <laughs> Bill Legit on the block with us. He man, in the hood with us. It's crazy. Sure. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.